All right, so step one is you need to bring your pictures into Lightroom, which I think everybody is pretty good with right now. Uh, you have your three images for your, um, oh, there it is. Your three images for your positive and negative space, right? We've loaded them into Lightroom, and we began the developing process. So we adjusted contrast levels, all sorts of def uh, different things like that. We got everything the way we wanted to. So I've got my, uh, my medium shot here. I've got my close-up shot. And then I had my distance shot right here, which for whatever reason is, uh, I don't know, it's weird. It's not showing up properly. Um, so then the first thing you need to do is we need to push this out. All right, we need to push this out so that we can save it into our Schoology, right? So up here in the corner, you'll see is that universal symbol, right, that has that little box with the arrow pointing up. Uh, I'm going to use that to save. But before I do that, I just had a thought, is let's make sure we're cropping our images. So under the cropping tool, Remember here, it says original right now, but I am going to change this, and I'm going to use 8 by 10, or I'm going to use 5 by 7. I'm going to start, I think, with 8 by 10. And I'm going to crop this picture, right? I'm going to crop it for content, and I'm also going to crop it for size. But why am I choosing 8 by 10? Uh, very good. It's a standard frame size, right? So uh, I'm going to crop it. I'm going to put myself here, thinking of rule of thirds. I'm going to put myself in the right spot. I'm going to hit the return key. There we go. If I ever want to change my mind, I can just click on that cropping tool again. I, nothing in Lightroom is permanent, so I can shift it around, I can move it, and I can reset it. This button right here uh, is the reset button here, and it'll reset my cropping back to zero as well. All right, so I've cropped my image. I'm all set to go. I'm going to click on this box here in the corner again, like so. I'm going to say Save to. All right, in the Save to window, I've got some choices here. First of all is the file type. Right now we're going to select a JPEG. It's a pretty standard file. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more later on in the semester about file types and pixels and all sorts of stuff, but for now we're just going to keep it simple. Location is important. Where am I saving this to? By default, it's going to save it into the weird Lightroom folder that you probably will not be able to find, but we're going to choose a folder that we want to find. So I'm going to click on this little folder icon here. I'm going to search for the desktop. I'm going to say choose. And then it says right here, you can see now it says users, uh, our Horvath, and it says desktop. So I know it's going to the desktop. And finally, what size? If you have saved yours already as a smaller file, it's okay. But I'm going to ask that you save them as full size for now. So in case we want to print them out or we want to save them, we want to do something with them, uh, you're going to choose full size. So under this little drop-down menu here, there's some choices. I choose full size. And then I just hit save. And that's all you need to do. Then you select the next picture over. You do the same thing. You go up under the square with a little arrow pointing up. I go to save to. All this should be by default the same, and I say save, and I'm all set to go. So then when I look on my desktop, uh, hang on. If I look on my desktop, I should see, ta-da, here they are right here, all three pictures, right? And let's dump this one here because this is an extra, sorry. All right, so here are my three pictures. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these pictures into my Google Drive so that I can keep them, right? So to log into your Google Drive, I've mentioned this to a few people individually, but I'm going to say this is probably the best thing for everybody to do. And again, this will be in the recording, is that you'll see your Safari icon here on the, on the taskbar down here. Just grab it and drag it, and so it says remove and throw it away, and don't use Safari anymore. Then go into that little rocket ship down here, the Launchpad rocket and then scroll back and forth with your fingertips and find Chrome, and you can actually drag this down onto your taskbar here, and that will become a shortcut for you permanently down here. All right. So then when I click on Chrome, uh, I already have, so it's not asking me, but it will ask you to make Chrome your default browser and say start up with Chrome and everything. Just say yes to all that stuff. That's fine. Um, because Chrome is just a, a superior browser when you're using Google products. All right, now I'm going to find that folder inside my Google Drive. I can use the waffle here to locate my Google Drive. Right, this little waffle guy here. I'm going to sign in, and then I'm going to find my folder. So I'm going to look for the folder that I made here. It's called MP2 Positive and Negative Space. I double click. I already have some pictures in there, but I'm going to locate the pictures on my desktop, and I'm going to drag these pictures into my folder just like so. Now you can grab multiple pictures by clicking above the picture like this, and I can highlight multiple pictures. I can also hold down the command key on my keyboard and I can click on pictures individually and I can select things that I want to take, oops, sorry, that I want to take or not take. 
Oh, it's going to open up again. Sorry, my clumsy thumb here on the button. There we go. So now I have these three, and if I grab these three, I can drag all three over at the same time, and I can copy them into the folder, which again I have, so I'm going to leave them right here. Same thing with my fast and slow shutter speeds. I'll go back out to my drive. I'll find shutter speed. Here's my shutter speed and aperture folder. I will find these on the desktop here, and I will drag them over into my folder as well. Right? And then I have a copy of that picture, and I'm good to go. All right, so that is phase one. Easy enough. So now I have managed all my pictures on my computer. I put everything into that Google Drive on Google Chrome, and I'm all set to go. I can access those pictures from all over the place, right? So I'm going to stop this, and I'm going to go to the second part of the movie here.